Hey, welcome to the lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're just going to keep building on our 2D platformer game here by adding a respawn functionality. So current state of our game, you know, we can jump around, we can double jump, uh, our sprint is working. But right now if I fall, I just fall into a pit of nothingness. I want to be able to respawn my game every time I fall off one of my platforms. But I'm actually going to start by limiting my camera there. If you notice kind of when I fall off the edge, uh, the camera just will follow me down to endless Hits. So let's go to our camera here and uh, let's go to our limit and uh, we want to create a limit for the bottom of our camera. So I'm just going to grab our ruler tool here uh, and just measure down from the top and I kind of want my camera to stop uh, probably right around 450 pixels. So let's put our bottom at 450 and let's move that out and let's just have a little look see how that's looking there. So now when I drop, my camera kind of stops there. Now I can keep moving because I'm falling, but this gives us a good bottom point for our game. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to create a new respawn point here that we could use for any point in our game uh, uh, for, uh, for falling off the world, but also if you have traps and stuff like that uh, later in your game, um, you can use this to respawn you when you hit anything you don't want your player to hit. So I'm going to start by uh, creating a new scene here and I'm gonna base this scene around an other node, okay? And particularly, I'm gonna build this around a area 2D node, okay? So an area 2D node uh, checks when objects enter them, but it doesn't stop their movement, okay? So we got an area 2D node, and hit F2, and I'm gonna call this respawn. So now we have a respawn node, okay? We can just save this, make sure it's in our scenes folder, and now we have a respawn node in our game, okay? Um, on the respawn node, we're going to add some features, some scripts in a few minutes, but let's just throw it in our game kind of where we want it. So I'm going to go to my level one here, my parent node, and we're going to link in our respawn node. It's going to put it up there. Now it's going to give us an error, of course, because we haven't put any collider on it. So let's add a collider on that respawn node here. And uh, we're going to add a collision shape. And the shape type is going to be a world boundary shape. So this just draws a horizontal line in this situation. That's going to go on forever and this is going to be constantly looking for when any object kind of enters it so i'm going to select the respawn parent object here go to the moving tool and let's kind of drag it down you know kind of right to the bottom of our world here now of course our camera's going to stop here so we're not actually going to see it but now we've created a respawn point along the bottom plane of our world excellent okay so now let's go back into our respawn object here and we can start by adding a script onto that okay so i'm going to add a script onto that uh, we're not going to use any built-in script, we're going to create, and we're actually going to get rid of both of these functions here. We're going to talk more about those functions later, uh, but the first thing I want to do is use a signal node. So signals are used in Godot to add more functions and methods into your code, uh, and they have built-in signals kind of based on the parent node here. So if I click on respawn and go onto our node tab here, we can see with our area 2D node, we have a bunch of objects here. The one we're going to grab is body enter. We're just going to double click, connect it, um, and now we have a on body enter. So this is going to look when a rigid body or a character body enters the space that is this area 2D, which is kind of exactly what we want. And we can check if this works just by doing a simple print command. So we hit print, and uh, then our print command, we can just do the brackets there. We've got to spell print properly first, and we'll say, you have died. Awesome. Okay. And we can go check to see if this works here. So let's go back to our 2D and it's going to print down here at the bottom here. We can just clear this here and let's click play to see our game. You have died. Awesome. Okay. So we know our on body enter is working so we can add some more elements here. Now, um, I'm not going to want my player to respawn immediately and we could very easily if we wanted to do that uh, what we could do is after print have died you could we could say you know get uh, underscore tree which is going to grab our scene tree which controls all of our scenes that we have in our game um, and we can just say reload current scene okay so what's going to happen when a body enters it's going to print you have died and it's going to reload that current scene control s to save let's go back to our main scene here and now we can click play and when i fall into the pit it's just going to respawn and start me off immediately Okay, uh, but I want to put a little bit of delay in it because it's going to teach us how to use other signals uh, from other um, uh, nodes here. Adds a bit more functionality into our game and then we can apply this to other elements we're going to be doing later. Okay, so I'm going to go to respawn here and we are going to add a timer node. Okay, we're going to add a timer node. And now if we go to the script, what I want to do is I want to link this timer node to my script. So I'm going to click and hold on the timer node here. 
I'm gonna hold down the control key and I'll drag it into line three and it's gonna make a new variable for us here. So it's gonna be ready as soon as the script starts. Uh, it's declared a variable, it's named it as timer and this is linking it to this component there, okay? So we're gonna, uh, let's, and then what we can do here on the timer function here, we can go back to the inspector and we can set how long we want the timer to be. I'm gonna have it run for about half a second and it's only gonna run once, okay? So now, once the body enters, we are gonna take the timer variable, this is the timer name here, as we can see from the connection, and we are going to start that timer, okay? So we're gonna start the timer, and now we have to create a situation where the timer is going to run out. So we're gonna do this by having our timer selected in the scene. We're gonna go back to our signal nodes here, and you'll notice up here at the top a timeout function. Double click on that, connect it. Now let's clear up some space, clean up the code a little bit. And now you have what is gonna happen when the timer runs out. So let's get rid of the pass. Let's take the reload our scene, and that, is when it's gonna happen. When the timer runs out, it is going to reload the current scene. Perfect, okay, let's go check, see if this works here. Let's go to level one and let's play our game. So it should wait half a second. Excellent, so we have a little bit of delay now. We've implemented nodes and signals, uh, camera limits, and uh, we hope you found that useful and we will see you all later.